So again here, because we're uh, so close to another station, it's only about 100 miles away, um, and we've got that on the gom already. So in that circumstance, it's kind of worth moving on to the next one. We'll keep this uh, 50 kilowatt rate. We'll try and avoid a bit more traffic. Although we're on the east of Dallas now, so we shouldn't hit too much, but uh, we'll get away before rush hour really kicks in in most places. And uh, yeah, get on the road again, almost at 50%. <laughs> So this is going to be a relatively quick one uh, from the trip to Texas, um, mostly because the ones that will follow will be the road trip videos and uh, there's probably multiple parts to those. There's a lot of different places to look at and uh, things to uh, digest from the trip. So I'll put those into a uh, full road trip playlist of which there will be multiple parts on the way down to and back from Austin, Texas. Um, so this particular video will take in uh, the Electrify America portion of our trip. So we had about 26 charging sessions over the course of uh, the 4,000 plus miles on the way down to Austin and back. Uh, and that was 26 on Electrify America. There are a few more. We did hit an EV go, um, a couple of charge points and uh, you know they were they were part of the journey but Electrify America was by far the most dominant charging network along there so i wanted to use this video as a, a quick kind of a little you know rebuttal to the idea that uh electrify america is expensive so we used 1269 kilowatt hours almost 4,233 miles all in all for this journey it's about a 4,000 mile journey so the rest of that is made up of you know popping between the Circuit of the Americas for Fully Charged Live into Austin, back to the hotel, back to Circuit of the Americas, all that kind of business. But for now, that's the number that matters, I guess. So in terms of top line numbers, we had uh, 26 charging sessions. That was all the way down to Texas and back pretty much every state that we covered along the way. Um, there was 1,017.6 uh, kilowatt hours delivered in terms of energy. Uh, charging costs were $231.89. Um, one thing I always forget to do is add on the uh, membership plan, which costs $4, so that's a grand total of $235.89. So what you get on a membership plan, uh, the Pass Plus plan, is uh, the $1 session fee cut out and uh, reduced rates uh, per minute. So it only really takes uh, a couple of sessions and uh, a decent amount of time on the the charger to recoup that four dollars back so the effective rate for this trip of uh, all the energy divided by the charging costs was 23 cents per kilowatt hour um, which is pretty good i mean it's you know that that is more expensive than level two charging or home charging in most cases but really um, when you see tesla um, charging fees people talk about 26 cents per kilowatt hour um, you know, a little bit more in some places I know urban superchargers can be a bit more expensive but it's really on a par with that and obviously the only thing you lose in the Bolt EV is the speed of charging um, but the, the counterbalance is that on a Electrify America station um, you're going to always be in that price tier one you're never going to be bumped up because the maximum the Bolt EV can achieve is 55 kilowatts um, I didn't really try to optimize my charge sessions that much um, sometimes on the way down there I did think, you know, to, to get away after 60 or 70%, but the way the, uh, this is the 2017 right now that I'm sitting in, but the car behind me that I took down to Texas, the 2020, the, um, the taper point uh, of the, the charge profile doesn't really step down as the 2017 does. It uh, kind of gradually tapers off and even up to 90, 95%, you're still seeing 20 to 25 kilowatts uh, in terms of power. You know, essentially you can still get a pretty decent charge rate way high up into the pack. Um, uh, I didn't try to maximize the, uh, the efficiency of the charge. You know, if I was in a place where I knew I needed to charge for longer, to make it to the next station obviously i did but in most cases there were um stations you know 100 miles away so i could have theoretically charged to only the uh you know the point where the 55 kilowatts started to dip and uh maximize my costs there but 
really was more comfortable for me when I was in a place which had somewhere I could work for a little bit and you know I'd rather stay a bit longer get to a higher state of charge and be on the road for longer so although you know you I know that you can leave at an earlier state of charge and hop from charger to charger to make the most of that higher maximum charge rate on the Bolt TV um, I didn't factor that in all the time I wasn't trying to keep costs down or anything I just kind of went through the charging as it was most convenient to my circumstances whether it was working for longer at one charger or you know not really have anything to do at uh, another one so wanting to leave at 60 percent but in in any case that's what the numbers came out I know there's folks on the west coast who have a slightly higher um, per minute fee and I think it's up to 18 cents when they're on the plan compared to 15 cents in a lot of the eastern states um, but even there they're reporting you know 23 24 25 cents per kilowatt hour so in the circumstance of a Bolt EV driver which is one of the more prevalent non-Tesla EVs on the road um, you're going to get a pretty good um, cost idea that uh, Electrify America is expensive um, it it certainly can be I'm not uh, disputing that if you have uh, a model uh, especially for the Kia Nero EV and Hyundai Kona electric drivers we know they push up into price tier 2 and that uh, makes it very expensive for a charge session that isn't really that much faster than the Bolt EV um, and an e-tron they have a I think it's a thousand kilowatt hours or a thousand miles um, I forget I'll put it up on the screen here uh, deal with uh, Electrify America to have a certain amount of free charging so yes at some point potentially those owners will have to run into how much it costs to uh, charge at their faster rate but they are getting up to you know 130 140 kilowatts by the sound of it so they're although they're paying more for a higher tier of power they're also charging much more quickly and you know minimizing the number of minutes they spend on the charger so it will be interesting to see how different models uh, owners you know react to the pricing but uh it's for the Bolt EV driver it's not bad and uh it you know is potentially cheaper than tesla in uh, in some places and some scenarios so that's just you know data points a uh kind of push back a little bit on the oh my gosh electrify america is the most expensive network you'll see um obviously we see issues with ionity in um in europe and their pricing being out of whack for the the everyday driver but again there are plans in place some people have discounted rates memberships you're going to pay a lot if you don't have a plan and if you just roll up and uh you know don't really think about the charge rate and how uh, how fast it's going so there's the potential to be charged a lot in that scenario and it kind of comes down to knowing your car maybe it's a it's a statement on we need to do a bit more to educate people like this is you know this this is some of the ins and outs and the quirks of uh charging your electric vehicle on the non-tesla public network and it could speak to the fact that that pricing structure is too confusing there is you know there are too many variables in that and so we need to move to the kind of tesla model of uh, per kilowatt hour pricing so yeah just another data point really something to uh take away from you know a very long journey and one that uh, pretty much predominantly used electrify america uh, in a bolt tv your long distance journey is not going to be too expensive even in an older model year as long as you know that you know after 70 80 percent you're uh, starting to rack up more expensive because the per minute rate is getting you less uh, energy per uh, minute of time that you spend there um you'll be in good shape electrify america affordable in a bolt tv um kia nero kona electric sorry still working on that one by the sound of it but uh yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and uh, look forward to bringing you some more of the fully charged road trip in the days to come.